So, uh, our next step will be adding the other animations. This is a different video because, you know, if you want to just like skip the rest of this, that's fine. So, add state. Let's do, whoops, let's do jump. Add the jumping into here and click drag back. And we will, you can either look it up in here or you can drag it from the right. If you're not seeing your animation when you're on the right or in here, that means you didn't select the idle skeleton and you need to fix that like immediately or you'll mess it up the whole thing. Talking from experience as well. So we want to be able to go from idle to jump and running to jump. So, because unless, if you're an aisle and you just hit jump, then there'll be no transition. So you need a transition between those. Hold on. Okay. Already found something I did wrong. So, walking. I didn't put my walking in here. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. So, idle to walking I'm gonna delete this thing put that up here it's gonna be a lot of nodes that you have to keep track of so from walking to add state sprint same thing and gonna make new variables for every single one of these animations so can walk same thing as can run you're gonna get can walk compile oh well don't even hit com you shouldn't even hit compile because then you'll just get the warning it's kind of annoying same thing here you're gonna get the can walk you can also look it up get can walk and not not boolean so you're gonna connect those back here so you're gonna also need to be able to go actually i don't think it's that important because you usually have to be walking to sprint so i won't connect idle to sprint but we already have these variables so i'm just gonna same thing as before can run there you go whoops not boolean there we go compile whoops now you're gonna go back to your basic movement and time for the jump so you're gonna wanna go into the jump from any stage so, this is just going to be a lot of doing the same thing. I think you can predict what's going to happen. What is this? Didn't mean to do that. You're going to make a new variable. Can jump. And you're going to get it. Connect this. Make sure you're putting the can jump from sprint to jump. If you put it the other way around, then it won't work. So on the whenever jump goes back to sprint, you're gonna do the can not enter transition. Don't even bother hitting compile, I just did it again from force of habit. So walking and jump, same thing. Get can jump, connect it. Basic movement, jump to walk, can jump, not, enter transition, idle to jump, can jump, can enter transition, jump to walk, I mean idle, cannot, boolean, 
enter transition, compile. Now that's all fine and dandy. So that's our animation blueprint done.